Okay, guys, here is the distributive property of multiplication. So remember that when we've got a, a number here outside, just right next to a parentheses, that means it's being multiplied by this whole thing. And order of operations tells us we need to do parentheses first, but we don't know the value of x, so we can't really simplify this unless we use our friend the distributive property. So just like Oprah, this means you get a 6 and you get a 6. Right? So I'm going to rewrite this on the line below. So 6 times 3, that's 18. And then I've got a minus. I'll just rewrite that. And then a 6 times x, that's 6x. Okay? And then I got another one to distribute over here. So you get a 4 and you get a 4. So I'm going to just rewrite here this plus. They're still being added together. So 4 times 5, that's 20. I'm going to rewrite this plus down here, and then 4 times 3 times x. Well, 4 times 3 is 12, so that's 12 times x, or 12x. Okay, so that was the distributive property, and that's allowed me to remove my parentheses, and now I can further simplify. But that is for another video.